All right, so here we have the new iPower motor from iFlyRC.com. Uh, so they went ahead and sent me a few of these motors in different sizes, 2506, 2207, 2205. And uh, I recently reviewed and tested the 2506, 2450. Pretty good performance out of that motor. Uh, it's on the channel, so you can check that out. So these are supposed to be kind of like uh, mid-budget motors. Uh, they're not exactly low budget and they're not premium so they fit right in the middle I think and so they come in this uh, plastic box in sets of two uh, so this one I'm gonna be reviewing today and testing is the uh, ION 2207 2500 KV they also sent me this same uh, size in 1660 KV so uh, they come in sets of two pretty well protected and there they are so it's usual price I think it's around 13.99 14 bucks but I think they got them on special right now for the holidays for 11.47 so 11.50 basically so not too bad a uh, price for uh, for a 2207 and if the performance is pretty good this would be a good option for a freestyle quad uh, we'll see how it performs so it's a traditional style motor with the full base so they didn't go with the naked bottom that adds a little bit of weight let's see what it weighs and this is with uh, uh, 70 millimeters worth of uh, wire pretty thick I think this is 18 gauge wire so that's just one critique uh, they, they should give you a little bit longer so you can reach the center mounted ESC but oh well I guess you, you can have to supply some wire in so that's one thing they, they should uh, add maybe in future revisions uh, provide a little bit longer wire so let's see what it weighs with that much wire 70 millimeters and this is a 2207 so it's 36.8 a, a little bit on the heavy side for this motor uh, for this size motor uh, we're used to seeing uh, 32 33 grams with the wire with the wire this is thick wire so that's probably adding like uh, maybe an extra gram because of the thick wire so but still it's gonna be at, at around around 35 uh, 35.8 grams so a little bit a little bit heavy but uh, you know we'll see how it performs on the thrust stand so let's see if that uh, redeems itself and again it's it's got the full base so uh, you could always uh, hack, hack off this, all these materials, so maybe lose a, a fraction of a gram there, so maybe get it down to around 34, 35 grams maybe. So it's a little bit more uh, uh, closer to the premium motors. Uh, but overall, uh, the motor does look pretty good. As you can see, a uh, nice polished aluminum finish on the motor and uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty nicely finished, and they are using a single, single piece shaft, and this is hardened steel shaft, and uh, it's partially hollow, so hollow only all the way to right about right there where it meets the the bell, and they are using a retaining screw as you can see there kind of a uh, different uh, with this uh, aluminum washer uh, where the screw goes in there so there's no brass washer so it looks like the magnets are curved and I'd say it's standard air gap uh, it's not overly tight and not that loose either single strand wire I'm gonna disassemble it and get it on the on the magnifying glass so we can have a closer look so this uh, this screw they do Loctite it pretty well and they use that white Loctite I already removed it here on this motor this is this is the uh, 1660 kV version uh, so they're using that white Loctite which is a pain in the behind to remove that you know th this uh, Loctite uh, dries up pretty well so you have to use a, 
a soldering iron and just leave it there for like 10 minutes and still kind of hard to remove so you have to have a really good uh, allen key to remove it and and do it carefully so you don't round the uh, the head of the of the screw so once uh, rem removed uh, the motor comes apart fairly easily and let's have a closer look all right so here's the stator as you can see a pretty neat winding single strand wire and laminations seem to be 0.2 millimeter thickness uh, there's the base uh, the bearing came out pretty easily it's not uh, overly tight so it's pretty easy to remove but you know still very good tolerances and this one's the the nice and beefy uh, 4 by 9 uh, by 4 so that's the bearing that a lot of people like because it's it uh, usually lasts pretty good time uh, it it does well on handling crashes it doesn't doesn't get out of whack so so that's the good bearing and it goes in pretty easily there so that should make for a easy re bearing replacement if you can get it can get them out that easy and uh, let's measure the stator height it should be seven millimeters there you go seven millimeters so no surprises there and the shaft uh, is only partially hollow only about that much so the center center portion is not hollow so only a bit from the top and a, br a bit from the bottom and this is hardened steel it, it is a little bit magnetic so uh, so it's uh, hardened steel so hopefully that's uh, pretty strong on crashes and there you see the magnets they are arc magnets and they're supposed to be N52 magnets uh, balance bell and there is a lip on the ring uh, right there so that uh, that'll help keep the magnets in place in case uh, you know sometimes the, if the motor is really overheat uh, the epoxy might get loose or uh, might get soft maybe and uh, magnets might slip down although that that's not that common anymore anymore uh, every now and then you'll hear of stories of magnet magnets uh, slipping down but uh, with this uh, lip uh, that, that should help them keep in place and it also adds a little bit of rigidity to the uh, uh, to the be uh, to the bell so to the ring so that's always good and that's the retaining screw with the washer this is aluminum washer and they're using this countersunk type of a uh, screw not the best choice really uh, I like to see a, a either a button head or kind of like a, a socket head screw those are much easier to remove because you'll have a, a deeper socket for the allen key and that helps uh, preventing damage to the to the screw uh, so that's uh, uh, just a minor criticism there so you just gotta be careful when you remove it uh, use a really good uh, head key and heat up the uh, the screw with a sorry iron and still, uh, you know, as I, as I mentioned, they, they are using that white uh, type of Loctite. Uh, that's one of the hardest ones to remove. That, that one sets in really well. So, so all right, uh, we'll put this together. This one's the 1660, so 
I'll be running uh, running this on the thrust stand at a later time. Uh, so we'll test the 2500 kV and see how it uh, performs and how it compares against the uh, other motors. All right, let's have a quick look at the thrust results for the iPower Ion 2207 2500 kV. As you saw, the motor came in at uh, very close to the spec kV, uh, 2530. So I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, and 5S with the usual props, uh, starting with the GenFan 5045BN and all the way to the 6-inch props. So actually, the motor did uh, quite well. Actually, uh, f for being a low to mid budget motor, the performance is pretty good. I would say uh, on 5S, the motor uh, came in at uh, pretty outstanding, uh, 2173 grams. Of course, the amps are gonna be quite high for this kind of power. But keep in mind that uh, once you're flying, uh, these amps are going to be a lot lower because th right here, these are burst uh, max amps and uh, they're on static. So in dynamic uh, conditions in the air, once flying, this is going to be uh, quite a lot lower, you know, uh, it could be up to 40% lower. Also, the, the batteries are going to limit the amount of amps that are, are going to be available for all four motors. So don't be too concerned with these high amps. Uh, they're going to be much lower when you fly. And this is not just this motor. All the motors that I test are going to show this, this uh, kind of exaggerated amps. So don't, don't pay too much attention to them. Uh, we just want to compare how the motor does uh, compared to other motors and what the motor capa capabilities are. So continuing on with the more aggressive props, the 5046 and 5045, upwards of 1700. Uh, grams almost close to 1800 that's pretty impressive I think and on the six inch props it uh, went over the two kilogram mark so that's that's pretty outstanding for this uh, 2207 motor so overall a uh, pretty good performance out of this motor uh, quite surprisingly uh, did really well so this would be uh, yet another good option for your high power build so it's one worth considering, especially at the pretty reasonable price of uh, of this motor. I think it's about 14 bucks uh, standard price, and it's on sale. I think right now, uh, 11.50 or so. I think so. Pretty good motor, uh, just a little bit on the heavy side, but uh, you know, uh, it's got the power to deal with that extra grams. All right. So thanks for watching, and until the next video.